Hey YouTube, Shuk and Shobi here with a review of the SH Figure Arts Barnaby Brooks Jr. from Tiger and Bunny. Um, really awesome show. Um, for those of you that don't know what this is, go watch my review of this guy, Wild Tiger. And I give you a little history lesson. I'm not going to repeat myself, so uh, go check that out if you want to learn more. Or go to Wikipedia, either or. So, uh, here's the box, stylized pretty much just after the Wild Tiger box. It's got the nice texturized um, embossing and stuff like that. Barnaby, Barnaby Brooks Jr. right down here. Barnaby right there. Nice red box to go with his color scheme. His very pink and red color scheme. Good luck mode, um, who he is. Super Rookie, Barnaby Brooks Jr. And product placement, because that's what Tiger and Bunny is all about. So, here is the figure itself. It is the same height as a Wild Tiger, give or take about maybe like an eighth of an inch at most. Um, he is really, really cool. As you can see, he's got his little jetpack back thingies. Um, they're on little ball joints, so they are completely movable and completely independent of each other. Which is really nice, they're made out of a clear plastic with a gold bronze insert sort of thing to give it a nice um, detail in there. And the rest of the back is pretty plain, obviously. Um, one thing I do want to point out is that, like Wild Tiger, he has a lot of, uh, of back issues with his neck, so he can't look up. He can, can't look any higher than straight. Even if you bring his head forward and then back, he still can't look any higher than straight. It's my only flaw with these figures, to be honest. Um, Diecast feet, once again, um, a little bit more range of movement than uh, Tiger because of the slit right here in his ankle. So a little bit more movement in the foot. He got side to side motion as well. Same hip style as uh, Tiger. No, it's not the same hip style as Tiger, because uh, he has had the swivel right here. Barnaby doesn't have a noticeable swivel, it's just a lot more built in. It's one of the many figure art hip designs that we're fairly used to if you collect the line. Shoulder pads are clear plastic. Um, they're a little bit loose, but uh, not to the point where it's a hindrance or anything of the like. Uh, but you can see right through those, those are really, really cool as well. Then you have the clear arm panels, just like the clear shoulder panels on um, Wild Tiger. So on this side you have uh, Crusade. I honestly don't know who, who what company Crusade is. Um, no, is that, is that a card company? It might be a, the card game. The Tiger and Bunny has a card game in Japan, and uh, it might be by Crusade. I don't know for sure. If someone wants to clarify, please do so. On the other side we have Amazon.co.jp. Um, if you can see those. You still can't really see those. There you go. Amazon.co.jp on that side. And then Crusade on that side. And then Bandai right smack in the middle because, of course, whose toys are these? Bandai! Um, and Tomashi, of course, but that's on Sky High, who I wasn't able to pre-order last night, but... Anyway, that aside, um, really awesome articulation as always, um, aside from the, the head issue. A lot of people are bitching about the, uh, a lot of people are complaining about the, um, the paint apps, and I don't honestly have any sort of paint app issues with this guy. In fact, I think it's pretty much spot on perfect. The white, like Wild Tiger, is a nice pearly white. It's, uh, it's not flat white by any means. The red is has a nice little sparkle to it to give it the nice little red-pink mixture that Bunny represents. Logo is right there. Tempoed on really well. And uh, the Bandai logo is really good too. It could probably be a little bit higher up maybe, but um, I think it looks just fine. Uh, sculpt is absolutely great and um, I like Wild Tiger more in terms of design, but this figure comes awfully close to um, competing against it for just a really awesome figure in general. Got nice see-through plastic right here too on the ears because that is what makes him bunny. And um, yeah, outside the the neck articulation issues with the uh, head armor, 
or rather the neck armor, uh, I don't really have any flaws with this figure. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So, uh, good job to them. Accessories-wise, he doesn't really come with too much. Um, obviously, he has his good luck mode, and we'll get to that. Um, he does come with this, the Amazon.co.jp um, um, arm guard. He came packed with another one for Crusade. Um, if I remember correctly, I think the, the reason they did this is at the beginning of the show, he was only sponsored by Bandai and Crusade. And then when he grew in popularity, Amazon sponsored him. So, um, I think that's what happened. I don't know for sure, but anyway, he came packed with two Crusades, and then an accessory was the Amazon one. I just went ahead and switched them uh, right off the bat. Then, of course, he has uh, some additional hands. By some, I mean two. They're just uh, two splayed open hands, as per normal. And then his good luck mode. His good luck mode is his right foot. So, uh... You just pop it off, I'll get to that later, but really it's just giant hunk of plastic on another giant hunk of plastic with a knee bend right here. Um, this moves, there's a little bit of a rotation here, and then obviously this is a little hinge right there. But other than that, I mean, it really doesn't do anything, it just uh, enhances his foot size, I guess, to attack better. But what you have to do here is pull. I'm very scared of this joint when it comes to switching it. It isn't hard to switch it, but it's at the point where I do worry about it just because this is a very rare figure. Not a particularly expensive figure if you actually get him for normal retail, but um, like I said, it pops off just fine and plugs in just fine. So I think after a couple switches, this will loosen up and it'll be a little bit easier. So then you just have to line it up properly. Just like that, and now... His new leg is in place. Obviously, he can't really stand with good luck mode on. He just kind of looks like a cripple or someone with a growth on their leg. But, um, thankfully, he comes with a stand that says uh, Barnaby Brooks Jr., Barnaby Brooks Jr., because he doesn't have a superhero name. He just uses his real name as his superhero name. And then the Apollon Media logo right down here, because that is the company that he works for. And uh, looks really great with the Wild Tiger one. So if you just kind of pinch this around his waist, it fits really nice. My Wild Tiger stands really loose on these clips. But um, yeah, this one isn't. It's nice and secure. Which is good because he's kicking. So elevate him a little bit. Get his waist moved a little bit. Just like that. No. Bring his head around. Obviously, in some typical rider kick fashion, you have to get that leg nice and bent. And there, some something like that. Have a nice little drop kick like effect. And uh, in fact, we'll just go with that as a pose for now because, uh, as you can see. Wild Tiger is just kind of sitting there in a generic, ready-to-punch-you pose because I couldn't think of anything cooler for him. But, um, I was thinking about posing him in the good luck modes, but I decided against it for some reason. But, um, really, really awesome. You look really, really nice together. I, li I apparently say really, really a lot. I just noticed that, but whatever. It's still really, really cool. I did that one on purpose. So, um, if you're a fan of Tiger and Bunny, obviously these two are a must-have. They are the main characters of the show. Tiger and Bunny, you need them. Um, that being said, he is still, just like Wild Tiger, ridiculously rare. Wild Tiger was released twice. Once um, in September when he was supposed to be released, and then once again in the middle of October as a re-release. Both times sold out instantaneously. Stores were only getting half of what they thought they'd be getting. And even at the restock, they only got half of what they thought they'd be getting. It's just completely ridiculous. You can't find this guy anywhere. Wild Tiger is down to about 6,000 on Mandarake, which isn't horrible, but it's not great either. Um, honestly, as much as their prices are a little bit whack sometimes, Big Bad Toy Store um, did get some of him in. And I think they still have some Barnabies for uh, sale as well. Uh, or reveal for pre-order to uh, be released in November. I don't know if they're going to do a restock or not. 
But um, keep an eye on Big Bad Toy Store. They've been getting uh, some supply from Bluefin. So um, they're restocking a little bit more than uh, Japan is, actually. Which is kind of neat for us American folk. But anyway, um, keep an eye out. Really hard to get a hold of. CS Toys laying out one Barnaby in. So um, very, very, very hard to get a hold of. So if you do, congratulations. If you're looking to pick up Barnaby, like I said, keep an eye on a Big Bad Toy Store and the other uh, stores that I list below. And just hope to hit a restock at some point. But um, really great figure, so if you can get a hold of it, definitely pick it up. I see no flaws outside of the whole neck neck issue that the Wild Tiger had as well. Really great figure. I love it. Probably not as much as Wild Tiger because uh, I prefer him as a character. But um, like I said, there's no major flaws in the uh, sculpting and the clear plastic and everything. just looks absolutely great on display. Love it. Good job, Bandai. I just wish you'd make more of these so everyone else can enjoy them too. So, you can check out uh, ShukunShinobi.com for all the latest updates on my reviews. And, of course, check out RidersRangersRambles.com for all the latest token news in the createst way possible. So, take care. Have a great one. Good luck.